What's up sa inyo lahat and good morning sa lahat. Up dito tayo ngayon May 10 ngayong umaga. So ayan, tuloy-tuloy po yung counting. So pakita ko sa inyo ang update natin this morning. si Inday Saro Duterte with 30,669,569 votes. Sumusunod si Pangilina, 9,002,563. So, po, 8,034,413. Pangapa si Ong, 1,808,424. Apienza, 257,844. At Lopez, 150,584. Pampito si Bellio, 96,198. Si Rapio, 86,355. At pang siyang si David, na may 53,452 votes. Thank you. 
unifying our country. I'll talk about the first big step no, towards unifying the country. Meron mga siyang concrete plans na paano niya ma-achieve po itong unity na binabandera na ng kanilang partido. Well, the results of the elections demonstrate that the first step has been taken. Uh, overwhelmingly, yung ating mga kababayan Filipino, yung mas mahok at napakita ng kanilang support uh, sa mensahe ng pagkakaisa. Um, over and above our uh, political differences is our common love of country demonstrated by an overwhelming number of Filipinos that came out to exercise their democratic right to vote. And that in and of itself is a very hopeful uh, demonstration of our commonalities as Filipinos. At sa tingin ko po, sa pamamagitan ng ating pagmahal, ng ating bayan, uh, meron ka talagang pag-asa na yung pagkakaisa natin ay nagsimula na at tuloy-tuloy na po kasama ng unity. Ms. Frasco, saan nyo uh, ma-attribute yung success nitong kampanya ni uh, Inday Sara? What well, the church of all, it can be attributed to the hard work of everyone who helped campaign for the success of Mayor Inday Sara and for the unit team. And of course, uh, Mayor Sara herself has demonstrated by her hard work and her desire to reach out to as many Filipinos as possible that uh, uh, she is very much deserving of this victory, this overwhelming victory that has been given to her by the Filipino people. Speaking of reaching out to Ms. Frasco, may plans but to reach out to her fellow vice presidential candidates? Well, Mayor Inday Sakra has always been a unifier uh, and uh, that has been her message all along, together with our next president, Bongo Marcos. And so I have no doubt that uh, the move of the next administration will be one that is anchored on unity, no matter the political divisions of these past elections. Looking back sa campaign niyo po, is there anything you would have changed? I don't think that uh, there is any regret at this point, especially with the overwhelming victory that has been given to our next vice president and our next president. Uh, our hearts and minds are just filled with gratitude for all the love and support that has been shown to President Bongo Marcos and Vice President in Etzara Dutato. Ms. Frasco, usually, di ba, ang Vice President na bibigyan yan ng uh, cabinet post, pero ba siya nagpupuso ang cabinet post na napag-uusapan na nila ni uh, Bongo Marcos? Sa pagkakaalam ko po, in the past, uh, she has expressed a desire for her, the Department of National Defense, and uh, that is the extent of my knowledge. And then, um, may pag-uusap na ba kayo ni uh, Pangulong Duterte? Meron na ba siyang reaction no? dito sa overwhelming support na nakuha ng kanyang anak? I'm not aware if uh, Mayor Sara has had a conversation with the president uh, subsequent to the elections. Okay. And pangulin na lang po, any message uh, from your camp dito nga sa mga naging katunggalin nyo dito sa ating uh, vice presidential race? In behalf of uh, our next president, Inday Sara Duterte, nagpapasalamat po ako sa ating mga kababayan sa inyong suporta sa inyong pagmamahal. Daghan kaayong salamat sa tanan na itong kaigsuunang Pilipino sa inyong paghatag sa inyong makabubungong na suporta sa itong isunod niyo, Mr. Presidente. Ang atong kaugmaong yung kinabukasan po natin punong-puno ng pag-asa dahil sa atong pagkakaisa. And any challenges ahead that worry you? 
Sorry, can you repeat that? Are there any challenges ahead na, you know, that worry you at this point? Well, the prevailing challenge is the economic recovery from the ill effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, yung retire naman talaga ni Mayor Inday Sara, marami po siyang uh, na iisip na kailangan po rin ng gobyerno natin uh, upang maibalik po yung lahat ng mga livelihoods at employment uh, na nawala tulad ng pandemia at ng mga kalamidad. Because uh, it is her desire for our fellow Filipinos to uh, live a dignified way of life with gainful livelihood. Uh, may pera sa pusa at may pagkakain sa mesa no, sa ating mga kababayan at sa kanilang mga pamilya. And also that uh, the quality of education in the Philippines is uplifted and that basic skills training be given to our fellow Filipinos so that uh, they may be able to obtain uh, employment that will help them uplift their quality of life. So there's a lot of work to be done and we have no doubt that uh, with our president and our vice president, our country is in very good hands. There's so much hope for the future of our country. All right. On that note, congratulations to you and to your campo. Hello, Cebu Mayor Cristina Frasco. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can talk about the city of Odin. Sama kita lang kung saan mabagal pa rin ang naging transmission ng mga boto. At may live update si Jess Umami ng Gemini Regional TV 1 Mindanao. Jess? Jess, Jess Arnold, uh, yung ibang lugar tapos na sa ginagawang canvassing. Pero dito sa Dato Udin, Sinsuwa at sa Maguindanao,